In this video, I will show you how to download the Epic Games Launcher. And if this video does help you out today, then please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. And with that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So here I am, I'm currently on google.com. So what you're gonna to want to do is open up an internet browser for this to start with. And what you wanna do is navigate to the official Epic Games website, which is just epicgames.com. So from here, what you're going to want to do is look into the top right hand corner of the page and you should have a blue download button. So what you want to do is go ahead and give that a click. And what it's going to do is just going to start downloading the install wizard for the Epic Games launcher. Now, normally this takes about a minute, but obviously dependent on your internet connection. But once that's done, what you want to do is go ahead and give that a click to start the installation wizard. So you can see that's now done and downloaded. So what I'm going to do is just go and give that a click and we're going to get the installation wizard to start. So of course it's defaulted to install into C program files. And what you want to do is go ahead and click install. So it's just going to run through and start installing the Epic Games Launcher. Again, it doesn't take too long to install dependent on your system. And during the installation process, it's going to also ask you to install Epic Online Services, which you do need to install in order for the Games Launcher to run properly as well, and also to play games online. So we can see that's finished doing the installation. What it's going to do when it first installs is actually going to install any updates as well. So you can see this is going through now and it's just going to run through and download any updates that are available. Again, this does vary. It depends how big the size of the updates are. So you just need to wait another minute or two for this to run through. So I'm just going to wait for that to finish updating and then I will come back. So the launcher has now finished installing. So it's just installing some updates. So what we're now going to do is open up the launcher. So what you're going to want to do is come down to the start menu or you can go to the search bar down here and type Epic Games and it's going to come up under the best match up here. So what you want to do is give that a click and that's going to open up the launcher. Now, the first time you actually open up the Epic Games Launcher, what's going to happen, it's going to ask you to sign in. So you do have a multitude of options to sign in. So if you have an official Epic Games account, of course you can sign in using that, or you can sign in with all these other different options, for example, Facebook, Google, Xbox, and so on and so forth. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in with Google. Just a quick note, if you do want to set up an Epic Games account, if you don't wanna link this to anything else, then there is a button at the bottom, a link you can click here. So if you click that, that's going to basically get you signed up um, with Epic Games. So you can sign up with your email at the top here. So what I'm gonna do is just go back to sign in, sign in with Google. And what it's gonna do is just give an authorization. So you just gotta to confirm to say that you're linking your Epic Games account to a Google account and then select your Google account to link that to. And you'll see that says almost done. Please continue to close this window, go back to the launcher. So once that's done, what you wanna do is you're gonna get a success message. Then all you need to do is go back to the Epic Games launcher and you'll see what's gonna happen. It's coming up here. So you can see it actually says for myself that my email is actually associated with an existing Epic Games account. So if this is my account, what I need to do is sign in to connect this. So if it does do this, of course, just sign into your account if you have an existing account and then click the login now button down here. After a minute or two, what that's gonna do is go through, log you in, and it's going to load up the main dashboard. The first time you do this, it might just take a minute because what happens, it takes a minute to configure everything for you, but you can see that's now done. I'm logged in and I'm on the dashboard. So what you can do now is of course, download any games on here and to find your games you wanna come across to library. So you can see I got Fortnite. Of course, it's not installed yet because it's on the games launcher. I'd need to install it first of all. But once you install your games, you can come across the library and launch your games directly from here. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you dropped down below the video and left a like and also considered subscribing to the channel. For that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.